In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get on Spotify playlists for free. Now, you may have noticed I'm a huge fan of using Facebook ads to promote my music. So why am I telling you about how to get on Spotify playlists? And in fact, I've even spent two whole videos talking about how the data you get from Spotify playlist promotion is worse than the data you get from using Facebook ads. Well, the reason is not everyone has the funds to pull off an entire music marketing campaign for even a single uh, using just Facebook ads or any ad platform alone. Even in my project day four, we got over 250,000 streams in, in the last seven months since our album's been out. We used a mixture of Facebook ads, social media strategies, and playlist promotions. Okay, so what is the strategy? Well, first I'll show you the kind of bad way to do it. You've probably seen some example of before that will get you a lot more rejections and result in that kind of bad data that I've talked about in the past. And then I'm gonna show you the good way that I actually recommend that you do it, even if you're also running Facebook ads to promote your music. By the way, Andrew Southworth, GeneraStudios.com, here to help you make music and get heard. Back to the video. All right, so let's take a look at my screen. You'll notice I have Spotify open, and that's because both the bad way of doing this and the good way both start just going into, into Spotify. And you might've seen this before in the kind of bad way to do this method. So I'm just gonna type in EDM, at the top, we're gonna to go to playlists. And oh, this is my playlist. Um, and you're just gonna start poking around. I'm gonna scroll down a little. Well, I'll try the first one first. Uh, this one has an Instagram or Facebook account to send your music to. Uh, and let me just scroll down. This one doesn't have anything. Doesn't have anything. Submissions, Instagram account. Uh, submissions and email address. Nothing. We'll find one more. And this one has an email address and a link. And I bet you, for the ones you can't find, you can look up their creator name. One way you could do this is click their name, uh, go to public playlist and see if they have another playlist with contact information. If they don't, then look up, you know, Howard Zoo on social media. It's a little harder when it's a name. Um, it's more, it's a lot easier if it's like Chill Republic. Like they probably have an Instagram account or a website associated with their brand. So it's a lot easier to find it. So now that we know how to find the, the contact information for these playlist curators, the bad way that I've seen people teach both in paid courses that cost hundreds of dollars is uh, is just to spam them with a message and like a pretty basic one, just something like a playlist submission email. Uh, hey, can you add my song to this playlist and add the link? Thanks, bye. That's not really the good way to do it. And it's gonna have a very low success rate and it's much more likely that no one's gonna reply because you haven't given them any reason to actually reply. You've shown that all you care about is a one-sided relationship. You help me because nothing. So I wanted to point this out very dramatically that under no circumstances should you just find these people online and just spam them with your links. That's not the way to do this. All right, so what is the way that I actually recommend that you do this? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to this one that had an Instagram account and I'm just gonna click on the Instagram. And in this case, it's private. So it's a little bit rougher. So let me find a different one that has a public page. Chill EDM, he listed an Instagram. Uh, and then I go to his Instagram and he has a public page. He's just some guy, you know, all these playlists are just people. And uh, he has a link here. This probably takes us to his Spotify playlist. And once that loads, we see it does. Now, one thing that happens pretty frequently is you'll find out that a lot of these people are just musicians. And that makes it a lot easier because what you can do is, is the general strategy I'm recommending you do is let's say, for example, two weeks before your song comes out, you're gonna find these people on their social media accounts. You're gonna follow them. You're gonna start liking their posts, you know, not in a creepy, aggressive way, just like, like a post, wait a couple days, go back, like their new post. And at some point, just share their playlist to your Instagram stories and tag them in it. And then just don't say anything. And then over time, you know, a couple days go by, like another post, drop a comment. And then at this point, they might have replied to you in a comment, or they might have thanked you for sharing their playlist, especially, I mean, this playlist has 56,000 followers. So, you know, maybe not, but his Instagram isn't that big. So he's, he's an approachable person. So by the time that your song comes out, you know, after you've had two weeks of kind of showing up in their radar, when you have that ask and say like, you know, hey man, I don't know if you noticed, but I, I shared your playlist like a couple days ago because I really liked it. I just came out with a new song uh, and I think it'll be a perfect fit. In fact, looking at your playlist, uh, my song sounds a lot like this Flume song and this Griffin song, so maybe it would sound good in between the two of them. So what you've done is you've managed to kind of compliment them. You like the playlist. If you can find that they're a musician, 
this person's not compliment their music. They're big into travel. So maybe you can say like, oh, that's so cool that you went to this place. Like I went there last year. So you're building a relationship, you're building rapport, you're doing it over a period of time so that it's not sketchy and weird. And I don't want you to make it just this pure business transaction. I want you to try to create a genuine relationship with this person. You know, they, they might add to a song, be like, oh, thank you so much. And don't just cut off the relationship there. Like keep interacting with them on social media, keep sharing their playlist, just do things for them without asking so that when you have a thing to ask, you're kind of buddies already, you know? <laughs> now, as I mentioned, when you have just an email address, it can be a little trickier. So uh, one of these had, or a few of these had email addresses. So this one has Chill Republic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look up Chill Republic. So in this case, we found their Submit Hub page, which is fantastic because that, that will link to all their other stuff. Now, if someone's on Submit Hub, they probably wanna do everything through Submit Hub, which doesn't make it easy to build a relationship. I can talk about that. Uh, how to improve your chances on Submit Hub drastically, since I'm actually a curator on Submit Hub, I know what people kind of want. Um, but let's just say for safe, sake of example, um, okay, their Instagram page is gone, that's not cool. But they do have a YouTube page. So this gives you some kind of context of the type of music that they've been sharing recently. And uh, it, it also says they have a Twitter, so let's go in their Twitter. And they don't have much followers and they, they actually do post relatively frequently. So what you're gonna try to do is find something that they shared that you can compliment them on in your email. So it's gonna be something along the lines, you know, don't do this exactly, but like, you know, hey, so-and-so, I came across your playlist, EDM 2020, and I, I really like all the songs you have in there. I saw on your Twitter that you shared that you just accomplished this cool thing. And you know, that's awesome, I like that. Um, I'm a EDM producer from Massachusetts and I just came out with a new song that I think would work perfect on their playlist if you'd like to, to give it a listen. And if not, you know, just let me know what you think of it. Greatly appreciate it. Let me know if I can help you or share any of your stuff in any way, thanks, bye. That takes them less than a minute to read. It gives them a compliment. It gives them all the necessary information. Also, obviously put a link to your song in there. Maybe a link to like a, uh, a press release or a, what, what are those? EPK, electronic press kit, that's what I was thinking of. So the whole point of this method, and the big distinction between the bad way and the good way is that you're trying to build genuine relationships with these curators and influencers. You're not just spamming one after another and hoping that someone just kind of throws you a bone. And when you build this relationship, you can go back time and time again, and you're gonna help them time and time again. That's just how it works. But you'll get a lot more success long-term and short term if you do this method versus just spamming your links out. So as I mentioned, playlists are only half the battle or a third of the battle. So if you wanna see all the stuff I've done about music marketing with Facebook ads, check out this playlist up top here to learn all about it. And also if you wanna learn about the bad part about playlist marketing with playlist promotion companies, check out that bottom video right there. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.